All right, so what you want to do is you want to pull up when they least expect them and fade them on sight. And if y'all need help, y'all know who to call. Come down below because I'm pulling up with y'all. I said what I said and I mean what I said. I'm kidding, y'all. All right, welcome back to another video, y'all. How to deal with hateful managers. This is how you do it. You deal with your managers all day, okay? Your managers are usually there probably while you're working because they got to work a certain amount of hours in a week. They work off of a salary, stuff like that. Um, usually the bigger managers do. Some managers I know work hourly. Now, what you want to do is you want to play spy, okay? So you want to be watching the car they're driving. And once you figure that out, when they're not looking, you want to go pop that bit. No, I'm kidding, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding y'all because y'all really be taking me seriously and a lot of the stuff I say is serious but what I said in the beginning of the video I'm not trying to promote no violence we don't promote violence on my channel I'm very violent free I guess so don't listen to that disregard that because I know some of y'all take that to heart I'm not like that I mean I've been in positions where I'm just like are you freaking serious like let's go outside but you know what I'm saying I try to keep it classy when you're at work you always want to keep it classy avoid drama i did a video on this avoid drama y'all like this is your workplace this becomes like your second home avoid the drama there's hateful co-workers there's hateful managers there's hateful people every single place that you go to so it's how you deal with it all right so you don't want to let that stuff get to you now in today's video i'm going to be covering everything to do i've dealt with my fair share of managers i've been in the company for three years i've had managers who've gotten fired i've had managers who have been complete perverts like I've dealt with a lot of different managers. As I say in many videos, I won't be disclosing the company's name, but y'all already know the company I work for. So, I mean, that's basic knowledge. And I'm going to be telling you guys the real deal, the real techniques and ways and tips to deal and cope with these managers. I know the beginning was all fun and games, but for real, like, I'm here to talk to you guys with a mature perspective on what to really do. I know you guys see me here. Some of y'all, you know, I don't know what y'all really think of me, but I'm assuming y'all like these tips and stuff and it's really helping you guys because you guys keep coming back, keep asking for more, and I appreciate and love every single one of you who have been supporting me on my journey to grow as a youtuber um the stuff i really do say is dead like dead i don't want to say the a word but like i'm dead serious about the stuff i tell y'all like this is not just me trying to make stuff up to get views or try to get likes whatever like that's out the window i've said it in a lot of my videos like I just got monetized and I'm barely making any money but I'm doing this more to help y'all than anything and also because it helps me just talking in front of the camera helps me and it helps me also probably like honestly feel better about myself that I'm helping people get jobs because I know the struggle I know it's hard out here I've dealt with a lot of different managers I mean a lot a lot of managers my Publix this is a pretty small Publix so this is a neighborhood Publix so we constantly get new managers and us being a small store they usually send the managers who aren't the best because they're trying to train them since we're a small store. They don't want them to mess up in a bigger store. they rather have them mess up in a smaller store. So everyone says that the managers that get sent to our store are the ones who probably did something wrong in a bigger store because they kind of got like demoted. They came from a big store to a small store and there's a reason for that. So with that being said, it has its good and its bad because... I don't believe in like L's like you know if I took an L that L is for a lesson I learned something from it I'm not taking a full-on L and just being sad and depressed for my life like no I learned from it and I'm not gonna repeat it because then I would be stupid if I repeat it so I know a lot of people aren't happy that we get the managers sometimes that aren't the best sometimes we do get genuinely like good managers um they might be ready to retire or something like that and that's why they're at a smaller store or they just might have been promoted and they're training in the small store like we get different case scenarios but I know we've gotten some managers that are just like so bad and like we ask other stores about it and they're like oh we've never had a manager like that and we have those managers because we're a small store so with that being said all it has done is prepare me to deal with people like them who aren't let's say the best and that's okay because you know what that means when you have prepared because you've just had to like there's no choice when you've been prepared with the worst when better managers and better people come into your life you appreciate it more so if you're used to having the best best managers when you get placed with a manager who isn't that good which you will be because nobody ever has just the same manager a perfect manager for their whole life because people come and go people change people get married people have kids people move it just prepares you okay so i wouldn't want to have been put with the best of the best managers and then one day be put with a manager who isn't that good and me be like so stuck so frustrated 
so out of my mind so i'm happy i've been prepared with the managers i've been prepared with because when i have a good manager i appreciate it and i'm like dang you know and like now i know how to deal with managers who aren't you know mm, that good so i'm gonna give y'all for real some like good tips and advice i've been in the company for three years i've gotten raises and promotions and stuff like that so i i would say that a lot of my stuff is legit like i said <laughs> the beginning was for giggling purposes laughing purposes i wanted to put you guys in a mood before we get into the real deal because obviously that's not what you're gonna do please disregard that do not do that do not be like patricia sent me to do this patricia did not send you to do that patricia was joking all right take a joke you need it lay low lay off i don't know what you want to say um go have a cookie let's get into it okay so the first thing you want to know is that anywhere you go whether it's this company or a different company you's gonna deal with managers who isn't always the best okay and that's just like standard knowledge so how do you deal with that you want to go to work and just do your work and go okay you're not there to make friends your co-workers a lot of times are not your friends okay the way you can find out if people are really your friend if people are really rocking with you is when you get into a situation because a lot of times in a workplace you're bound to get into a situation whether it's that you messed up whether it is that you can't come in who's going to cover you stuff like that like you get yourself into little situations why because work becomes part of your day-to-day -day life and no one has a perfect day-to-day life so you're gonna probably mess up in your workplace and who comes through for you and who helps you that's how you find out who your real friends are and a lot of times when you get into you know when you get into it everyone leaves you there they leave you in there drowning they don't care because they don't want to get involved why because then their name gets dragged and no one's willing to get their name dragged for somebody else which is understandable but i know a lot of people think like oh yeah that's my co-worker that's my homie that's my dog that's is they really outside of work are they really your dog or they just your dog at work because y'all can communicate, y'all can talk, y'all can laugh. But when y'all get into something, they not there for you. So you really have to like figure out who you can talk to, who you can trust, stuff like that. I never suggest that you tell your personal life to nobody, okay? I come from a very messy store, okay? I come from a very, very messy store. I'm talking about like these girls get with like the same guy. And like my first day there, people was telling me like, oh, so-and-so, you know, was giving so-and-so, you know, that good, good in the car. And I was like, oh my God, like it's my first day so i come from a store where a lot of drama goes down a lot of stuff you know not the best stuff happens stuff like that so i love my store i love my managers and my co-workers is cool and stuff but i know that i've been prepared for when i get put into a better situation i'm gonna appreciate it because i come from a store that the managers be cussing and stuff like sometimes under their breath and i'm like oh i don't think you're supposed to be doing that so anyways like i said just get in there to do your work, get your money, and go home. These people isn't genuinely your friends. It's good to have people on your good side. So, I mean, if you have to come through for somebody, don't be that person who's like, no, no, and no. Because we're not even friends at the end of the day. Don't be like that. Like, be cordial with people and try to come through for people so that you build a relationship with them. But do not. I wouldn't. I know some people have a different mentality. I know so many people who do this. And in their eyes, it might work for them. But long run, I feel like it does not because I've seen it backfire on so many people. A lot of people like to kiss that peach. You know, because I don't want to say the A word because I think that's against guidelines now. But a lot of people like to kiss, you know, and I'm not going to kiss nobody's butt okay i'm not gonna do that if you like me for me because i genuinely work well because i treat the customers well that's one thing but another thing is for me to be kissing your butt and like i i just can't like i can't there's people who are like have the mindset oh make friends with the enemy i don't like so and so but i'm gonna just be friends with them because make friends with the enemies that's not my mindset if you're the enemy which you know try not to make any enemies but if you're the enemy i'm why would i be your friend i don't understand that you's not playing it cool like like i don't know i'm gonna keep it cordial with you if we at work yes i'm gonna keep it cordial with you but i'm not gonna be your friend acting like we best friends because that's just being fake i couldn't be fake no matter what situation i'm in you know like i might be fake a little bit with the customers because that's what they pay me to do but they do not pay me to go kiss your butt because you're a bad person and i'm a good person but you have a higher position like that will definitely not be done if you genuinely get into like a big argument with somebody there's not i don't see how there's a problem if you and that person if you guys don't need to be talking then why would you guys need to talk you know what i'm saying like if your job doesn't consist of you guys talking why do you guys need to talk so if you genuinely don't have a good relationship with somebody because y'all genuinely like a big fight 
please like if y'all dated some guy or some girls dating the guy you like like that's not real beef y'all real beef would be like this manager is picking on you and like you really like it's really affecting you like that's not real stuff so please like if you're i mean i guess if you're looking at this video because you're like bro like I'm having a problem with one of my coworkers because she's dating the guy I like and like my feelings are hurt. Like I guess you could take the same tips, but honestly, it's not that deep. Like, what do you expect? You're dating a guy at your job. Like this was bound to happen. So if you're genuinely going through some like real beef with like a manager and stuff, which I've been there, it's okay to ignore them. In my opinion, I mean, all my videos is just based on my opinions and stuff I've seen, stuff I've seen managers do, and it usually works out for me. It works out for people who follow my advice. So personally, me, like what I did with the manager, she, well, I guess she has a management position, but she's not like a legitimate manager. But what I did with her is I completely ignore her. I do not talk to her. Like there's just no communication. She'll say bye. I mean, I'm not, you know. I usually, like I said, I, it's very hard for me to be fake. I can't be like, bye. Like, why are you saying bye? Like, wasn't you snitching on me yesterday? So there's people who, I don't know, loyalty be different to everybody. Once you like play me one time, that's shame on you. But, but if I give you opportunity to do that stuff again to me, like if I let you be cool with me and stuff, how I know that you're not going to do it again? I don't. So I'll be stupid because you have the potential to go do that to me again, to play me again. So I would just be stupid if I give you the opportunity to let you do that to me. So to me, it's like you crossed me once and that's it. Like, we really don't have to talk. Now, there's certain case scenarios where you don't get along with these people. You have my man, my same mindset where it's like, you, we done. Like, we don't need to talk, whatever. But if that person, you know, it doesn't even need to be higher than you. If that person just works with you and you need them to do something or they need you to do something, y'all are bound to have to talk. It's okay. Y'all could keep it dry. If they're like, oh, I need you to go do something. Okay. That's how you could be. You don't have to be like, yeah, I got you. Like, I'm going to do it for you. Like, you don't have to be like that. So I'm not telling y'all, like, completely, like, ignore them. Like, they tell you, hey, go get carts outside. And you're going to be like, no. You can't do that because it's like, it's your workplace. You There's a, there's a level of things that you can cross and you can't cross. So if someone's telling you to do something, you, you might have to do it. But you could just be like, okay, and walk away. Like, you don't have to be... All right, no problem if that person did you dirty, you know, like you don't have to do that. So me, the way I dealt with it is I completely like ignore the person. The person knows that she, what she did was wrong. So for the most part, she really doesn't tell me to do things. Very few times does she tell me something and I just keep it like, all right, like whatever. So I get my job done and I do my job well. That's one thing you don't want it to do. Like even if that person is right next to you, don't let that tension between y'all affect how you are dealing with your customers. Because guess what? Usually the person you have a problem with isn't like the head, head manager of the store. So when the word comes to the head manager, the head manager is going to be like, I don't care what y'all got going on. You guys need to provide service for these customers. So you don't want to be like, oh, well, she did it. Like you don't want to bring that drama because the head managers do not care. They do not care. So if you're getting into a problem with a coworker or a manager who's like one or two positions higher than you, I get it because we've been there. But these head head managers don't care. So if you and that person have to work together, suck it up. I'm not telling you to be nice. I'm not telling you, I mean, be nice if, you know, whatever. But like, I'm not telling you to like kiss nobody's butt. I'm not telling you to make conversation. I'm not telling you nothing. I'm just telling y'all to do your job. Because at the end of the day, when you's put into the office, which I've been put into the office, when you've been put into the office with these big managers, they just want to know that you're doing your job. And like, you are going to get in so much more trouble if it's like, yeah, well, I got a problem with her. So that's why I can't perform well. Like, they don't care. They don't, they just want you to perform well. So for example, my case scenario, they was like, this one lady was like snitching on me and like trying to get me in trouble for like stuff like that wasn't even happening like at work like she was just going above and beyond because she had beef with me because of some other stuff that i've talked about in other videos but when i sat down in the office i said she got problems with me because of stuff that has happened outside of work not none of it has happened inside of work because i've never even talked to this lady at the end of the day i serve all my customers with pride joy smiles i go above and beyond and that's what should interest the managers. Y'all should not care what I'm doing outside of work because it's not affecting the stuff that's going on at work. And then it's like, oh, dang, she right. Oh, oh yeah, she right. Oh, she... Yeah, yeah. Because my job is to deal with the customers, to help the customers. My job is not to be friendly with all my coworkers. And I'm very friendly, okay? Like, 
I'm cool with all my coworkers. It's just this one lady. So when I told the managers that, it was like, Patricia, you're good to go. So, you know, you don't want to be like, because then they're going to use that against you. Oh, okay, well, if you have a problem with her, we don't care because at the end of the day, you're affecting these customers. So that's why we got a problem with you. They're not going to have a problem with you if you're just not getting along with the coworker because they don't care. So whatever problems you got going on, whether it's the person right next to you, whether the person is in the same store, in the same whatever, you have to just perform your job, okay? If that person talks to you because they have a higher position than you, all right, okay? People decide to handle stuff differently. Like I said, there's people who are friends with the enemy. There's people who are like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. And they just roll their eyes afterwards and keep it moving. And there's people like me who are just like, all right, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and that's that. So, like I said, just keep it cordial because that's all the company really requires you to do is keep it cordial with your with your coworkers. Nobody's telling you that you got to be their best friends. Nobody's telling you that you got to be there for them. Nobody is saying that. Just do your job, get your money, go home and handle the coworker or the manager however you want to handle it personally me if they is doing you dirty they have the potential to do it again so kind of just disregard that person i walk past the person that i had a problem with like if i don't physically see them there you know because you was really trying to cost me my job so my i know my kid scenario might be a little different than y'all because y'all might be seeing this like in a oh you know i have to work with my ex or like oh i have to work with my ex's girlfriend like some of y'all might not have had these deep ass problems but like my stuff was like bad so i walk past this person like i don't see her there if she called me over or she need to say something to me that's one thing also i'm very big on respect so unless you say my name if i'm turned around and you say something i don't know you talking to me I don't know you're talking to me because you didn't say my name. When I speak to somebody, I say, hi, Christina. Hi, Charlie. Hi, whatever. Like, you say the person's name because that is respect. So also, like, you know, you have to play your cards too because people will, tr will really try to mess you up in whatever company you're at. Like, it just doesn't have to just be, you know, the company I work for. Like, it could be any company. So you really have to, like, put the boundaries. You really have to put respect on your name because nobody else will. Especially if somebody's trying to mess with you, they're not respecting you. They're going to try everything to disrespect you. So you have to be like, hold up. Like, <laughs> you ain't all that, you know? You ain't popping either. So stop coming at me. And in regards to power, because that's one thing, um, some managers will try to abuse their power. So, for example, if a manager has the potential to tell you, go get cards, go get cards, go get cards, usually they might tell you once or twice every hour or something like that. If a manager doesn't like you, some will try to abuse of their power and tell you four or five times. So you have every right to speak up. Usually the person, like I said, that you have a problem with isn't the head head manager. Usually like the head head manager deals with so much paperwork and so much things that they don't really talk to us like on a one-on-one -on -one level like our coworkers are because our coworkers are right next to us. The managers aren't. So do not be afraid to go to the store manager and be like, this is what's going on. This company has to listen to your problems. And guess what? There's always a manager on top of another manager. So if you got a problem with this person, you go over here. You got a problem with this person, you go over here. So they should be willing to listen to your concerns. And if they, if they don't, reach the next manager. Like, that's just how it goes. It goes up the um, level of command. So make sure you voice your opinion. And if you feel like, I know that some managers might be like, oh, well, it's your job. You could go ahead and be like, I understand that it's my job to get cards, but there's five other baggers and she hasn't or he hasn't said anything to neither one of them. And she's only telling me and me and her have prior, you know, history where we don't get along. So I feel like she's picking on me, targeting me, whatever, because managers do try to abuse of their power sometimes. So don't feel scared to speak up just because you feel like it's part of your job. It's part of your job, just like it is part of the other people who work with you's job. So if that, if that specific manager is only picking on you, do not feel scared to say something because you're not the only one working there. You're not the only one on the clock. So you your work should be divided. Another thing is, I want to just cover this one. I know this, you know, this ends up creating drama, but I don't know why this has happened before and like managers have gotten fired for it and still have employees. A lot of times you will find in the bunch managers who you know, I don't even want to say they're single because a lot of times they're not even single. But managers who be looking, you know, to the other side. Like, if they got a girl at home or whatever, they still looking over here at work like, 
to see what what they can get popping you know who they can bang who they can take out who can they wife whatever they's looking for that some are single some are not single and um a lot of times managers want to use their position as power or their money as power or you know the fact that maybe they can get you into a better position as power and a lot of time girls or you know ladies whatever they're like okay like maybe if i just do this i'm a you know guarantee myself a higher position okay so even though like the guys or the managers might not say anything girls just be feeling like that they be thinking like that whatever this all it does is create drama number one number two you will get caught okay number three drama spreads like crazy so as you if you've gone for five minutes and you know i don't know andre has gone for five minutes they is gonna correlate one-on-one -on -one, like oh yo like people's business goes around like this so do not think you're not gonna get caught there's cameras in every single i'm i mean i'm talking about like the places i thought that there wasn't even cameras there's been cameras so it's like everything is being recorded you's gonna get caught all it does is create drama afterwards like oh so and so you know people's not gonna respect you because let's say you do get a promotion which will eventually get taken away from you once they find out because they always find out but let's say you get a promotion in that moment people will not respect you People are gonna be like, she only got that promotion because so and so was messing with, you know. So you don't want to have that. Like you want to be able to be like, yeah, I got this promotion because I deserve it because I work well, you know. So I would definitely say like, if that's your mindset, if you think like, oh, I'm gonna just go like, yes, go cute for you. Yes, I I do believe, you know, it's it's nice to look pretty. I do feel like it's nice to, you know, go to work, fix stuff, you know, do your hair, do your makeup, whatever, and be nice to your managers, especially the managers who are good to you, be good to them bad. You got to reciprocate the energy that you want. But if your mindset is like, I'm going to do something for so-and-so, I'm going to be extra nice, or when I'm in, you know, the office, I'm going to, you know, be like bending over, whatever, like, I don't know. I know some of y'all are like, whose mindset would that be? That is so many people's mindset, and it's trash, basura. Is basura, okay? Because you was gonna get caught, like I said, and you was gonna get fired, your reputation, no one's gonna have respect on you. It's just it's just like a huge mess. And a lot of times it does not even end up happening because guess what? The people who have to promote you, like the store manager can put in a good word for you, but that's not the person who promotes you, okay? So or at least not all the time. I know like the store manager can give a good like a good like a really good word, especially if you're going from like a bagger to a cashier. But if you're looking for like a bigger promotion, which a lot of times the people who have this mindset are looking for like a management position promotion, the store manager can't do that. Okay? It's these big managers that do not work in the physical store with you. They work in the corporate offices. So they don't even know you. Okay? So the store manager isn't doing nothing for you. Your department manager isn't really doing anything for you. So like you was doing this stuff for free. They is making it seem like, yeah, I'm the manager. I have a lot to say. Sometimes they really don't. So don't be fooled because like it's not gonna go well for you. Um, I've said it also in the in my avoid drama video. Watch who you get involved with because even though like you and your coworker might have the same position, even though you guys both might be cashiers or baggers, when you get involved with someone who works with you, remember that if y'all fall off, y'all still work together, and the managers do not care that y'all fell off. The managers do not care that he cheated or you cheated. They do not care. They just want you to perform a job. But as a female, I understand that, like, when y'all break up, you's crying, you sentimental, you's this and that. You see him talking to another girl at work, you feel some type of way. So I get it. But these managers do not care. So so what's your what's your move? What's your move? So just keep that in mind before you get involved with somebody. I'm not telling you to get involved or to not get involved. That's completely and solely up to you. I've given my opinion in the avoid my in the avoid my in in the avoid drama at work video i gave my opinion but it's completely up to you because i get it like i really do I'm, I'm on your same boat i'm a lot of times people think i'm older than what i am um i'm like i've gone through all the same positions that a lot like i've started from the very bottom as well so i get it but keep in mind like you still have a job to do and if you're not doing your job there's other people who will do your job and who are dying to have your position okay because it's a big company this is not an ice cream shop where like no one really wants to work there you know there's a company where people is like pick me please please i really want to come in for an interview so what like watch watch how you you know handle yourself always handle yourself the last thing i'm gonna say is always handle yourself classy and professional and walk in there and be like 
how you doing sir i want to tell y'all that go into work looking like a hot mess but just can't but just handle yourself classy and professional because essentially to do that you do have to also look the part a little bit you know classy is not always put your hair back and have no tattoos or nothing like you can look classy and have tattoos you can look classy and have your hair down you can look classy like there's different ways you just have to put a little bit of effort and fix yourself up a little bit and that's okay and professional does not always mean a button-up shirt and hi how are you my name is mike you know like that's not always professional but that is professional but there's other ways to be professional too you could come to work you have a tattoo you have this and you can still be classy and professional so i don't want to knock people down from thinking that they's not up to par because of the way they look or the way they speak you believe that you're classy and professional you's gonna sell that you know why because whatever you think of yourself that's what she's gonna sell i think i'm a happy person so wherever i go i try to be peppy and happy and that reflects to the person who's watching me or to the person who's talking to me i believe myself to be professional so when i talk to people i'm not like hey yo man what's good like you know because yes yeah, sometimes I, I might speak like that to my friends but i'm not speaking like that to my customers i'm gonna be like hi sir how you doing today everything okay did you find everything okay i'm handling myself the same way somebody you know somebody else would handle themselves in a professional setting now just because me and that person don't sound the same because that person is let's say from a different um ethnicity you know maybe that person isn't hispanic maybe that person doesn't have an accent like me whatever like that's okay we essentially are saying the same thing so do not feel like you're not professional because you have an accent or because you can't really speak a lot of english you know or because you just came from cuba or whatever like it does not matter you could still be professional classy oh i don't have straight hair so i'm not classy that's a lot of misconception no you can have curly hair and still be classy so the bottom line is to be classy and professional you gotta avoid drama you gotta handle the situation the right way you gotta help people stuff like that that that's what makes you classy and professional you can have this whole look going for yourself that you're classy and professional and then the stuff that comes out of your mouth and i'm not just talking about the way you speak like in the terms of like your accent i'm just talking about like the stuff you say that can completely destroy it for you so everything is not just appearance it's also like how, how you handle yourself be professional about everything that you got going on in your work setting you know why because it's going to open other doors for you if you're professional even though you might be a bagger or cashier, guess what? The customer who's coming through that line might be like this super big manager for like a sneaker company and they like the way you handle yourself and then they hire you right on the spot be like, hey, can you come work for my company? And I'm not trying to promote that because I love Publix and I'm telling y'all to come to Publix because I love this company. But some people's dream is not to work here. Some people's dream is to go work in a sneaker store and that opportunity might present itself if the person or the customer you know has that going for themselves and they see you and they like the way you carry yourself and now you know they catch you into the company like stuff really happens like that so with that being said i'm gonna conclude today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your guys channel help your girl out don't forget to not skip through my ads please help your girl out okay five cents a day your girl is balling that's how it feels even though it's only five cents but you know <laughs> whatever anyways i'll see y'all in my next video thanks so much for watching i'll see y'all soon bye